200 seconds. That is roughly how long I've been on this big ass rock or whatever you think it is that we call Earth. Now for the regular people here, that's 22 years and counting. And man, is it counting. <laughs> I feel old as fuck, not gonna care. <laughs> I used to look at life as this enormous playground where the possibilities were as endless as the Friday night shots at that one Mexican restaurant. The one you're 90% sure is either a money laundering scheme or a cover up for the local cartel. Like you can't prove anything, but you see paint scraping off the walls and it burns when you breathe, so you make an educated guess. But the older and bigger I got, the smaller and more limited the world felt. What do they mean? Crips and Bloods, they got along? Bro, they can conquer the world, bro. Nah, look at this crippled dude. He's obviously the benevolent god and he has a person protecting him. You know what? I think this is trying to teach us is that if you look, if you look closely, never mind, there's nothing over here. If you look closely, this guy, yeah. he's gonna get ran over by this guy if you don't fall in line and obey him. Mm. He's sitting in the chair, you think, oh, what a poor guy, he's crippled. No, that's what they want you to think. This dude right here, this dude's actually in charge. He taking orders. Yeah, you know why? You know why? This isn't a wheelchair, bro. It's a throne. Exactly. It's a throne. It's a throne, nigga. It's like, like an advanced throne that can roll, bro. He can turn it off and on. Bro. What I'm fucking talking about, bro. Like, niggas don't know, get it, bro. bro. Like, this shit. <laughs> Two months after graduating high school and a few weeks after my 18th birthday, I got kicked out of my mom's house. Not going to explain how or why in this video, but I was terrified. My mom didn't allow me to drive or have a job or even socialize outside of school growing up. I damn near couldn't breathe without permission. So not only was I an adult for literally less time than a luxury cruise across Latin America, but the woman who birthed me kicked me out with less than half of the information I needed to survive. So when it comes to living life as an adult, I've had about a rocky as a start as one can have. I eventually lived with my father, who I met for the first time again since I was like five, like a month earlier at that point. And he was the complete opposite of me. I was shy, didn't know how to talk to people, never been anywhere but my hometown. I kid you not, I couldn't even name five restaurants in the area because I wasn't allowed to eat out. On the other hand, my dad was full of energy. He walked forward in life, like he had done and seen it all before. He had an open and charismatic way he communicated with everyone. I remember one time, me, him, and my sister, we were walking and we saw a family taking a group photo. Simple. My dad proceeded to run up to them, jump into frame, and photobomb them in the most cartoonish, silly fashion you can imagine. It was like a movie scene. Whole time I was thinking, yo, what the fuck? What if they get mad at us? What's wrong with this dude? But seconds later, they're all laughing. And he left them smiling. Even more than they already were. I was amazed. He traveled often too, due to his work. So he's been to every state in America. Even weirdly named ones like Vermont and Delaware. Like who the fuck plans a vacation that says, y'all wanna go to Vermont? I heard they have nice air. I don't know what the fuck they got out there. But all this to say, he experienced more, way more in one day than I ever have in my lifetime at that point. And honestly, it made me feel like a fucking loser. Like, how the fuck can you be a grown ass man already and have never truly experienced life? How do you go 18 years? How do you let 18 years pass? And all you have to show for it is a few skills and unresolved anxiety. In that moment, I knew I needed to change. But there was one issue. I didn't know how to turn a boy who had never lived his life to a man who thrives in it. You have to be aware that there's something out there, that there's more to yourself, there's more to the world in order for you to 
want to explore it and then discover it and then start to begin to understand it and then to accept or love it and then transform what you have found. You start with the level of awareness because out of sight, out of mind, simply put. So the self-awareness comes first because if you aren't aware, you won't care. You know what I'm saying? So if you aren't realizing that, hey, there's something going on between me and me, my relationship with myself, that I have never, you know, seen before, I've not, you know, learned its potential, or has got gotten messed up sometime in my life, you know, through my trauma, past experiences, um, in relationships, or what I have been taught growing up. That clip you just saw is from one of my peers and fellow content creators, Taekwondo. The link to his full video is in the description, but this video and a plethora of others I saw on my journey taught me self-mastery and subsequently life does not just unfold with no effort. Everything and anything anyone has ever done takes awareness, exploration, discovery, understanding, and most importantly, self-love to truly get anything. And to put it frankly, I was a fat slob living in his own head more than outside. <laughs> everything I've done, everything I've ever done up to that point was for either comfort or to have comfort in someone else's opinion. Every time I drew a picture, it was to see how my friends felt about it. Every bar I spit, every bar I've ever spit was to get a god damn sort of reaction back then. I only went to college because that's how my mom made me view my success. Think about this. Growing up, I was convinced I wanted to be a surgeon <laughs> just because my mom said I was smart enough to. She even showed me this movie called Gifted Hands and said how much it reminded her of me and the direction I should take my life. My life. <laughs> and now I scribble on paper and talk melodically over beats. So yeah. If that's not a middle figure to being a surgeon, I don't know what is. <laughs> I feel like right now, today in 2023, more and more people navigate life like this. We throw away our goals, our aspirations, our lives for something comfortable. We settle down and major in a lifestyle in school for money, security, and eventually comfort. We settle down with a major letdown of a partner for money, security, and eventually comfort. Even when we know these things won't work two weeks in, we stay for two more decades and then hate our lives, then eventually ourselves. We ignore our intuition and believe the lie that everything we want is a dream, quote unquote, instead of an achievable reality. And up until 2021, I was falling in the same trap most of you guys probably are. I wasn't alive. And you're probably thinking, so what is living then? All this black ass, nerdy ass, handsome ass nigga has been talking about is boo hoo, mommy issues, boo hoo, life is so hard. Get to the point already. What does it mean to live? And I say, to live is to wake up and thank everybody and whatever forces you believe in for waking you up and pushing you forward. That includes yourself. It means walking through life with only one expectation, that you've got you no matter what. It means letting go of everything that doesn't make you happy and accepting all that has hurt you in the past. It means laughing when you wanna cry and crying when you're laughing too hard. It means experiencing everything that piques your interest Exploring everything that makes you adventurous. It means never letting go of someone who only wants the best for you, even when it hurts them. It means letting go of everyone who says they love you, but only prove it once in a while. It means a leap of faith when others wouldn't even peek over the edge. It means confessing to that person you really want and being ready for whatever the consequences are. It means letting go of that person you love. It means letting that person you love love you if you truly want. It means connecting with as many things and as many people that serve you as possible. It means growing into a new person every second. My brothers, sisters, neighbors, my friends. What it means to live is everything. Everything all at once. 
And for however long we're here, it's our job to make sure we confidently have no regrets when we die. I know I won't. I'm the man who can create anything, do everything. I'm the greatest creator to ever live. Jay Arvis, or better known on the internet as Jay Artist. Even Jay Artiste if you want to be fancy. <laughs> and lastly, I want y'all to remember to live young because you'll die regardless. <laughs>